Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this end effect from this photo. So we're taking this photo and we're transforming it to this. I mean, who doesn't love pink hair? I love pink hair and red lips. I mean, I would never get pink hair because my mom would kill me. So, <laughs> um, you know, this is why we have Photoshop. So you can have any color hair you want in pictures. Uh, let's begin. And, uh, by the way, it actually looks really hard, but it's this is really easy to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is select the hair. There are many ways to do this. I'm just going to go straight to the point. I'm getting a black brush, and you want to make sure your foreground color is black. Um, opacity is at 100, and I'm making a new raster layer. Uh, black. Ooh, I can't spell today. Black hair selection. So you're just coloring over there. I mean, anyone with a basic coloring background, as I've discussed in previous tutorials, wow, I was not really good at coloring. You know, if you have like a basic kindergarten preschool coloring level, you should, this should be pretty easy for you. Um, and you know, that's how I became an artist. <laughs> Drunk, I actually drew comics when I was younger, and I used to scan them and hand them out to people, but people would never actually read the comics, which is messed up because they were pretty good. So this is, this looks really horrible. You're probably like, oh my god, she's teaching us stuff, but I swear this is going to come together. <laughs> and you can always fix this selection, by the way. Try to speed this up, scribble, scribble over here. And again, there's probably a more advanced way of doing this. There's like a channel selection that I learned when I was in college, but I don't have time for that. I'm sorry. We're going to be doing this the basic way. Okay. So almost done with selecting this hair. It looks like she has like a scarf on. Okay, there we go. Okay. Obviously, you're going to want to go in and, you know, change this to suit your needs. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Again, don't laugh at this. I know some of you guys are probably like, what is this? <laughs> so now we're going to want to actually select this black selection um, by holding the command key on your keyboard. And as you can see, when I'm holding the command key, this little dotted square comes up. And you just want to press on the raster layer. So as you can see, all of this has been selected now. What we're going to want to do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Curves. With the selection still intact. So press OK. And what this just did is if we remove, if we press this little eye, um, what this did is the Curves layer now has a hair only selection. So if I go up, I go down, it's only affecting that area that we just colored. Now, let's say, for example, you want to change it up and you want to select this part, like you want to like select this part with this layer. All you have to do is switch the color to white and then go over any areas you want to add. If you don't want to add an area, if you want to subtract, just do the opposite, go to black. And you can erase any areas. So this is for like more in-depth, like if you want to go in and be more meticulous. But I just want to do something a little bit more simple. So I'm just showing you guys just the basics. So this is a good selection for now. Although I do want to just touch up this hairline just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So this curves layer, we're going to select the actual curves layer now. Because when you select over here, you're selecting the mask. So you want to make sure where you're clicking now is the graph. And see how this property thing just changed? That's what we want to do. So I am going to just add a simple curves layer. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to brighten up the hair. Because this will make the colors easier to stick to her hair. That pink color is going to be easier if her hair is brighter. And I'll show you in just a second. So, um... Now what I'm going to do is I want to use that same selection 
for the hue saturation. So um, what I could do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. And then what I'm going to do first is pick the color that I want. You're probably thinking like, oh my gosh, this is not going to work. So I just want to show you guys an example of me using this layer. Let's say this is the purple color that you want. Now what you do is hold the Alt key, and as you can see, there's like a little arrow. So you press the you press in between, and now we created a clipping mask. So what this means is anything that the curves layer is modifying, that's the only thing the hue and saturation layer will modify. So this layer mask will be the only thing that's going to be affected. But by the curves layer and the hue saturation. So it's just so much easier than making another selection. So we're, you're, you're, you keep consistent with this. And I already have a color chosen. It's that pink color. And one night of 44. And just a tiny bit of saturation. Um, as you can see, some color is lost in here. So I'm just going to go back and add some of that. And again, I'm just using that white color to fill in those areas. So if you see any areas, simply go back to the curves mask. And that's where your main hair layer will be. And this will control everything. So this is extremely handy to know. Use layer masks. I have a video on how to exactly use these more in depth. So now we're going to add highlights. So go to Command Shift N or layer new raster layer and make a new layer name this highlights for hair so now i'm going to keep with the black color and highlight her hair we're going to go from normal to soft light and using the black color you don't want to you don't want to use 100 percent pass i'm using 22 right now use a black color to add more depth and the white color to add a highlight so you're basically becoming a hairstylist right now you're doing everything with no experience like no experience needed i really wish i had pink hair but my hair would be fried one time i did an ombre like i was not able to brush my and i have pretty good hair i was not able to brush my hair you guys it was pretty bad like i look like mufasa from the lion king it was really bad would not do it again. <laughs> I would not do that again. So again, I'm just using the black color to intensify the darker areas and then these highlighted areas, I'm just adding white to them. So anywhere you see dark, just add more black, really. There's no, there's no fancy way of explaining it. Just That's pretty much it. And I'm going to lower this opacity. I don't want to be too much. But you see the difference? You just want it very subtle. So now um, we are going to intensify her eyeshadow, Cassandra's eyeshadow. Make another new raster layer. I think that's orange. I don't know. Yeah, it is, looks orange to me. Let's see. So we're using an orange color. You don't have to be exactly like on point, as they say. I'm choosing an orange color here. That, that reminds me of ice cream. I think I'm just hungry. Uh, we're going from normal to soft light again. And we are just going over this very slightly. And keep in mind, my brush, the hardness is always at 0%. We don't want anything too crazy. You want it to blend in. We're just kind of like intensifying her eye. You can really make this any color. Like if you want her to you know, have that smoky eye, you could totally do that. But I don't know, I always mess that up, so I just don't do that. I'm going to lower this. I always lower the opacity, if you notice. I don't want anything to be too crazy. Okay. So let me show you guys that eyeshadow. It's very subtle. You can go back and add more if you guys want. I'll leave the craziness up to you guys. Now my favorite part is adding the lips, uh, the lipstick color. Um, so what you want to do is choose the color that you want for the lipstick. 
I'd recommend going uh, a little bit brighter than you normally would, like going the shade lighter. I have a specific color that I use that I really like. It's this color. It's pretty bright. Um, now I hope I get this right the first time. I'm going to be just using like a half opaque, like a half of the hardness, maybe like 50%, just seeing how that looks. Opacity is at, oh, I'm sorry, okay, no, no, I made a mistake. Um, I'm sorry, make a new raster layer before you do this, you guys. New raster layer. Always make a new raster layer for each thing. So, okay, now that we have our, a new raster layer, you can go over. See, this is, now this looks right to me. So, and don't freak out if it doesn't look professional <laughs> right now. <laughs> Just doing this for the tutorial purposes. Oops, okay. This is really looking bad right now. Have no fear, everyone. I am a professional. <laughs> okay, I think that looks pretty good. And that's the end of the tutorial. No, I'm just joking. Okay, so we're gonna go from normal to multiply, and we're gonna clean this up a lot. Okay, so now I think I got the lips to where I want them. Obviously, they're not perfect. I'm probably gonna go in and revise them a little bit. You know, just the base is pretty good, and I'm going to keep this at about 24 percent i don't really want anything too crazy i just wanted to have a little bit of color well actually i like but we're doing like 30 like 32 percent is good so the next thing we want to do is just add a little bit of color to the eyebrows so i'm gonna go to i'm going to go to command shift n make a new layer and just name it eyebrows and i'm using a light color from her brows and just a, a low opacity, nothing too crazy. Just filling it in out just a tiny bit. So you probably think this looks really hilarious, but we're gonna go from normal to multiply and lower this opacity just so it blends in a little bit more. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the colors to the image. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then black and white. And we're gonna keep all the original settings. We're just gonna go from normal to soft light and lower the opacity a little. You can put it to like 40%, that'd be fine. Just add a little bit of contrast, just a little bit. And then we're gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves, which is my favorite layer. Uh, we are just gonna be toggling the green and blue layers. So go ahead and go straight to the green layers, to the green, to the green um, I don't know, green screen however you want to call it. Uh, first, we, I'm going to try to get this as exact as possible because this is going to determine how accurate it looks to my original image. And obviously we want that. So I'm going to try to be as precise as possible. Curves is a tricky thing, you guys. This is really hard. My neck is breaking trying to like look at like what I wrote drew and then try to get this I'm not good at drawing lines clearly okay hopefully this looks pretty good so far hopefully it looks accurate and then we're gonna go to blue and try to do this you know what the problem is every time I try to recreate a look it looks completely different and I'm like okay what a fail and then I look stupid because I'm like I'm gonna show you guys how to get this image and then it just looks nothing like it so I try my best to get it I think this looks pretty good though this is kind of what I had this is a little bit of what I had if it doesn't look exactly the same I'm sorry this is kind of how I did it but this is the struggle of editing uh, so this should be pretty good hopefully uh, next step is going to layer new adjustment layer then black and white again uh, go ahead and check off the tint box, whatever color is in there you're going to want to keep. For the reds, go ahead and type in negative 61. 
uh, and then you're going to go from normal to overlay. Yay! I think I did it. Okay, perfect. Uh, just go ahead and lower the opacity just a bit, and you can see that it's looking like the image that I wrote down. Okay, perfect. So this yellow color is just giving an overall tint to the image. If you don't want this yellow color, you can switch it up. Like you can change the color to really anything that you want. You can go green if you're feeling, if you're thinking about money. Just go to the green. If you're pissed off, just do red. I don't know. Uh, last but not least, go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then vibrance. And then we are going to go to. We're going to hire the vibrance and lower the saturation just a little bit. But not that much that it like depresses the whole image. And in this case, I'm going to just go back to the red lips and you can make it even more vibrant by just hiring the opacity on that layer. Just want it to be a little bit more colorful. Maybe I've been staring at it too much. That's why it looks like it's the, the color sucked out of it. There we go. So there you have it, everyone. This is the end of this tutorial. Let me show you guys the before and after. That's my favorite part. This is before and this is after. Yay. Um, please keep in mind that for the sake of this tutorial, I kind of went a little... Uh, basic with the hair, going over the hair, selections out and the lips. Obviously if I was going to be presenting this image on my website, probably spend a little bit more time, but for the sake of the tutorial, I just kind of glossed over it so you guys can get an idea of how I did it. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial and just like to thank everyone for watching and if you have any suggestions please let me know. So again last but not least before and after And that's the end of the tutorial. See you guys next time.